What's good? What's good, YouTube? What's good? What's up with all my subscribers out there, man? I really do appreciate everything you're doing. I mean, just you just don't know, just you clicking on that button, turning that post notification. That that means a lot to me. That means y'all rocking with me. That means y'all like somewhat like my content. Um, I'm gonna get back into the cars and stuff a little later on, but y'all hear something? I know I ain't shading why, but hey, Ty, somebody knocking? Somebody at the door. Let me, let me double check. So, but yeah, just want to say appreciate y'all rocking with me. Yep. Let's see. Let's see. No, I don't hear nobody. Oh, snap. Look what we have here. Look what we have. It's here. Y'all got to bear with me. I got to get it one hand. I'm using my phone for recording. It is here. It is here. It is here. It is here. Hear ye. Hear ye. Man, showing all my gray hair. Let's go see what we got, what we got. Let's go see what we got. Hey. Awesome stuff. Shut this door. Let's see what we got, let's see what we got. All right. Let's see what's in the box, let's see what's in the box. got it in today uh, I'm gonna say this it might be old to you but it's new to me I'm gonna say it again it might be old to you new to me okay cuz I don't have the money to get out and purchase these on um, these I don't have the money to get out and purchase new toys every time they hit the market um, my pockets not deep like that I'll say this as well um don't put yourself in a bind trying to get this stuff um, I'm gonna give you a secret about how I know 90% of them. I used to go on a lot of mission and take my little money from mission and buy guns, the, the body guns I got. And, and I don't went through tower loan and got loans to buy the expensive gun I have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, rush into buying these toys. They're gonna always be there. Now, if it's one of them things that is like very limited, hard to get, and you have the money to spare, then get it. Um, if not, don't put yourself in a bind. Okay, this video is gonna be a lot longer than some of my previous videos or my normal videos. Um, reason being is that not just that I got one flamethrower, I actually got two. I'm going to pick the other one up in the morning. It's um, XM42 as well, but it's the silver one. Um, check out the graphics. Yeah. Okay, so, you remember when I said don't be in a rush to get stuff? Yeah, me being very impatient, I ended up buying two. And the reason for that is, I call my gun dealer, Lauren, the one I'm always talking about, that's that Hunter Edge from Ellisville. I call her first. And said, hey, could you find me a flamethrower? She said, yes. So, in my mind, oh, when she says she don't get back to me, it's going to take Lauren a minute. So, let me check this other guy. This guy in Illabina, Mississippi, or somewhere like that. I reached out to him. And he pretty much said the same thing. Let me get back to you. So, long story short, he ended up reaching out to me. And he's like, hey, I can have you one in a week. 
you know, sign this um, agreement and pay you money. I'm like, all right, cool. So basically the agreement stated that anything that I do with this flamethrower do not fall back on the company, it falls back on the owner. Now, back to how I ended up with two. So the guy, he said, I seen you one out. And then that thing low, Lori hit me up like, hey, I got you on coming in. I'm like, oh, crap. Dang. But that was my fault because I was being impatient. And in order to keep good business relationship and you have people go out and order you stuff, go ahead and pay for it. I should have waited on Lauren, but I didn't. I went to this other guy and they both came through. And it's crazy because both of them came today at the same time, one in one location and one came to another location. So big shout out to both of y'all. Now this flamethrower, it's supposed to shoot out to 25 feet. Make sure you keep it in a safe direction. Um, before even trying to use this, this flamethrower, make sure the battery charge, even though it comes between 30 to 50% already charged, once you um, start charging it, don't walk away from it, leave it, don't leave it overnight because they highly uh, recommend that you don't leave it overnight. So keep an eye on it until it get full, uh, fully charged, and then install. Make sure it's the, and the way you take the battery out, you gotta take it out from the base plate and you'll see the connectors in the inside. Um, when you get it, you will get it on your manual. So I advise you to re um, read up on it. Okay, it used, uh, butane the little butane bottles it, it'll give you a certain side that you put on it you want to put nothing heavier on it you can also use uh unleaded fuel now, they advise you to put the flamethrower on flat surface while you pour in your fuel you want to make sure that you don't hold it up above i think 42 degrees even then because the fuel will leak out well, or just in case the fuel might leak out you don't want to leak out on you and that'd be bad for you okay um yeah, and we're going we're gonna to cook some meat. Just letting you know we're going to have a little barbecue. And we'll have a candlelight visual. Um, I was all excited about getting this flamethrower today. And a couple minutes after I got it, uh, I got worried that my cousin passed. So, I'm going to say this. When... Um, spend time with the people that you really care about. Spend time with the people that you really love. Um, don't take nothing for granted. Enjoy every moment because you never know when it will be the last. Um, so the design of it is real simple, man. Yeah, y'all forgive me, my GoPro went dead. How simple can this be? You got your torch, right? You got your little igniter. And they weather the bar pretty pretty much keep the the torch from moving and keep a good angle, right? Now, here inside, that look like a regular car fuel pump, which it probably is. You know. Which kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of smooth. Your little nozzle here. And, and anybody that deal with cars, they know how a uh, car fuel pump work. Pretty much it receives gas from the tank and sends it up to, straight to the carburetor or to the injector, um, injector plant. So pretty much that's all it's doing. It's sucking gas from here. It's sucking and it's shooting. But they're using the torch to keep the fire lit. Because we already know if you wish to send gas out of here and you try to light it, it's going to get all on your hands. It's going to burn you up. Okay? But they use the power because it's going to take power to run the pump. So they have the power button here, which is getting its, its juice from the battery underneath, which causes the pump to turn on. And then they're using this button here mash the engage the pump so once it's engaged the pump 
and it's taking the power from there. It, it's pretty much all working together. It's, it's running the pump, shooting the gas here, and they still have the torch lit here from the butane. But, so, the next video, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare uh, flamethrower. My homeboy actually gonna make one, which is gonna be a lot cheaper than what I paid for one. So we're gonna compare. We're gonna see the distance it shoot a flame out. We're gonna pretty much see how long it runs, which I think he gonna end up getting me because his is just running out butane. I think it's just gonna be running out butane. I'm not sure yet, but I think I will probably get him as far as the distance with the flame. I don't know yet. So y'all please stay tuned to the next video and we're gonna go from there. Thank <laughs> you.